Hello everybody and welcome back to Red 5 Rips. My name is Brandon and today we have another card opening video and we're going back to baseball. I know recently we've done a lot of Pokemon. Um, I got these Mega Box Bowman in the mail today from Target. And I always like to open up a few Mega Boxes every year. I didn't go crazy with Bowman this year. and uh, But I did still want to get a couple of Mega Boxes. Just because I, I do like the um, insert. Um, like the Mega Packs or whatever that you get uh, in these. I really like those. And, you know, who knows? It's always good to have a few of the of the first Bowman each year. You know, and hopefully I get a, a good amount of those first Bowman out of these three boxes. And we'll see. So, was it always... Sorry, I'm going to do this off screen. Not off camera, I should say. Has it always been only three packs? Or, I'm sorry, four, four normal packs? I don't remember that. I thought you got a little bit more in previous years in the jumbo box or the mega box i could be wrong i thought it was like 60 cards or something like that but all right let's see who we got so i don't know that much about any of the ones that are going to be first bowman obviously drew jones i know him uh but like christian serta i haven't been following the first bowman um, guys this year uh, that that closely I have so this is sort of a new opening for me which is exciting um, so yeah we will see there's another there's a first moment of Frederick Biscone so let's pack one down here let's keep the chromes in their own pack or in their own stack and I did the same thing last year I got three mega boxes and um, got a few good cards I guess but uh, as always you know you never can tell these first uh, these firsts if in a couple of years they're going to be uh, any good, but uh, that's just kind of how it is. I should probably also put the firsts in their own pile, right? That way we can sort of see at the end how many I get out of a mega box. Um, so I got two out of that first pack, right? Yep. Okay. So I always like to see the first chromes. Two. So that's fantastic. Anyway, yeah, I've taken a little bit of a break from Pokemon, even though I did open up some new, the new Pokemon stuff that came out, the Paldea Evolved, I did open some of those. Oh, did I open up the Mega Pack? Sorry, here, you know what? We'll save that. I didn't realize what I was grabbing. Um, yeah, so I opened up, what, 15 Paldea Evolved packs, me and my kiddo, and um, got some okay hits. Not quite as many hits as I was hoping for. Um, I know in previous years, I think it was just the Scarlet and Violet. Is that what it was? I can't remember which set. Anyway, we also, Christiane and I, opened up uh, two tins, which have the th four packs in them. And of the four, of the eight packs we opened, we got like six hits. Um, and that would be, that would include, uh, you know, um, what, uh, the uh, EX cards or whatever, and also like the, uh, the full art and all that. I mean, we got some really good cards out of those eight packs. And I was like, wow, if that's, if that could happen every single pack, that would, or, you know, every eight, that would be great. And again, I'm not quite sure who the firsts to look out for are. And I apologize. I'm not up on my super, super young <laughs> baseball all-stars, except uh, there's a Vaughn Grissom. I really had hoped he was going to do something this year. This is James Altman. Pulled, so I pulled his auto... Uh, redemption out of my box of series one jumbo and at the time i was like hey cool james altman didn't know anything about him i don't know that many people knew much about him um, uh, at the beginning of the year and uh anyways turned out to be a good uh, that's a good auto that i've that i got i haven't got it in the mail yet come on tops where you at all right so put that over here. Let's see, Michael Denson. Come on, we want some. At least we're getting some first chromes. All right, so here's that first pack that I accidentally flipped over. There's a, there is a nice card. I like that. Michael Harris, uh, Braves. Start Very slow start to the year. There's Bobby Witt. Nice. Shoot, I'll put him up here. <laughs> Since I don't know what first to put here except Drew Jones. Um and, uh, yeah, so that was a decent pack, right? The one first and a couple of rookies. So, yeah, um, Michael Harris, tough start to the year. I think he's batting, like, right under three, right under 200 at the moment. But he was hurt at the beginning of the year. 
He's been coming on of late, but hopefully he can get back. That'll be a cool card. All right. It would be great if we got an auto out of this. Rookie of the year. Can favorites? Nolan Gorman. Cool card. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. IPC Ronald. I love to see it. All right. So no first, right? No first in that second pack? Nope. But we got some rookies. Not too bad. Oh, we did get one first out of that first pack. Okay. All right. So that was one box. So that sort of could be what you can expect out of one box. Um, uh, let me go quickly back through make sure that I didn't miss any first. So I really want to count and see how many we get in each box. Not that it's a big deal. Just curious. All right. So first, paper. I got one, two, three, four. Paper. And I got more of the chromes, I know for sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. Um, seven chromes. So that's great. And I don't think any of them were numbered. They weren't. Right? Sometimes there's like that. I'll just keep all those together. Okay, so there we go. So that's what you can get, uh, expect out of one mega box. Let's go ahead and uh, put these over to the side. I don't know. Sleeve up that. I'll sleeve these up off screen. I won't take up anybody's time. I'll just put them off to the side. And that was one box. All right, let's do a second one. Well, I'm opening this, so yeah, I am. Um, I don't know if anybody will care. I don't think any of, the, any of the people who may watch a Pokemon video will watch my baseball videos, but I have three, three boxes of Pokemon 151 set coming from Japan, and I'm hoping they're going to be here in the next couple of weeks. It's a new release that is coming out in Japan. Um, obviously, first they'll probably be in the United States in the end of this year, but. I went ahead and it looks super cool. I love the, 100, the first 151 Pokemon and I really want to collect uh, the whole set. And I said, well, you know, it might be cool that they're uh, Japanese. So anyway, picked up three uh, three whole boxes. It'll be what, close to, I said, over 100 packs um, coming. Uh, and I'm hoping to be opening them up on camera here in the next couple of weeks. Seriously looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. I really do hope I at least get one Drew Jones. I mean, you know, isn't that the isn't that the goal of this? Come on, Drew. Be cool to get an auto. Not expecting it. Never expect autos. I keep packs for a little bit. <laughs> a little bit difficult to open here. Okay. C.J. Abrams, Nolan Jones. Some firsts. This is right. Two more firsts, though. And I know in some of the previous videos, I'm like, it seems like I'm breathing on the mic, but I promise my head is way to the left of my camera. And I don't know how or why. Like, I could be breathing into the mic, but I, I hope I'm not this time. I'm really trying not to be. If I am, I apologize. Justin Henry Malloy, first for the Braves, and Glider Figuero for the Texas Rangers. Didn't get any paper first that time. Nope. Got some rookies. Okay, seriously? Third time. There's a Gunnar Henderson rookie. Put that up there with his long flowing locks. First, come on, 
Come on, Drew Jones. Not yet. Well, didn't get them on the random, the regular packs. Let's, you know what? That's okay. I'd rather get them in this pack if we can. There's a Colton Kowser Sights on September. And there's a blue. Finally got a numbered card. That's a James Woods numbered out of what? 2199? What is it? Oh, did I miss it? It's on the, oh, out of 225. James Woods. Corbin Carroll rookie card and Lazard Montez. First Bowman. All right. So we got, got a few firsts in that pack. And I just know it's going to be similar to last year where I didn't really necessarily know a lot about the firsts. I don't necessarily like to do a tons of research about, about Bowman and the first and the get, you know, you know, are the ones to try to find or whatever. I just like to open it and have fun. Um, the, the couple of times I do buy it, um, so I always like to, like, six months from now, I'll go back, I'll look at all my Bowman and be like, oh, yeah, okay, this turned out. This is the one to, this is the one to possibly, you know, look for. Um, and I'll, it's always a nice little, uh, nice little find. Like, last year I found, um, what was his name? I just totally blanked. Anyway, I found, like, the one guy from last year that was uh, the one to look for in the first Bowman, and I, I had him. Should I sleep this up? I guess. No, you know what? I'll save all these off screen. Ah. So yeah, same about the same amount of firsts that time. And we're down to the last box. I mean it'd be fun to get a fun to get an auto. I'm not expecting it. Still trying to figure out what that guy from last year was. He plays for the Marlins. It's like it's not Preston something. Anyway, can't think of his name. Laddie. Eric Brown Jr. So digging these mega boxes. And I'm, I'm sort of glad. I know there's a lot of Bowman fans out there. I know people love it because of the, you know, the firsts and the and the autos and all that. I'm just glad that speaking of this guy, let me finish my what I was gonna say. I'm just sort of glad I, I didn't overspend on Bowman the last couple of years. I'm just trying to take a step back, not spend so much money, get super expensive, and like for what? 34, 40, 40 dollars a box. This is what I'm getting. I'm just not not feeling it. Now this could all change if I pull a um a, a auto or something. So Drew Waters, before he was traded to Kansas City, played in the Braves organization and played in Gwin uh, the Gwinnett Stripers uh, for the Gwinnett Stripers. And I would we went to a couple of games and he was standing right in front of us. And my kid was there and he wouldn't sign this ball. We were like just handing that. We were just holding it right there at the fence. And he's like sitting there talking to his girlfriend. Come on, Drew, be better for the fans, bro. It was my kid's birthday too, but you know who did sign his ball and came and came over to actually do it? Christian Pache, who is now in the uh, Nationals. He went to the he went to the A's, and then I think he was released. Anyway, he was a cool guy. He came over and signed my kid's ball because it was his birthday. I mean these these are minor leaguers, you know. Come on, take some time out for the fans. Still look at this Drew Jones. I should have brought his dad's auto card that I have in my office. Andrew Jones. I was a big fan of Andrew Jones back when he played for the Braves. A lot of fun watching Andrew, the, the best defensive center fielder ever. Don't at me. Don't at me and say Willie Mays. I'm going to go with Andrew Jones. Okay, last uh, last pack here. Come on, Drew. Where you at, man? Yeah, like Rushman. 
We'll put that aside. Next is Buddy Gunner over there. Corbin Carroll. Ronnie Simon. Juan Almos. Gabriel Martinez. And we struck out on the Drew Jones. Search. Two more tries. Two more tries. Ten more cards. Marcelo Meyer. Xavier Isaac. All right, we got a blue here. What do we got? Bryce Harper blue out of one to 150. Really? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I didn't know that non-prospects had uh, numbered cards, but cool. Tristan Casa. Casas, Jefferson Rojas, and Marcelo Meyer. So a couple more firsts. I'll take it. Because, again, you never know. You never know when this card's going to come back. All right, we got four potential cards that could be Drew. Three potential cards that could be Drew. <laughs> Two potential cards that could be Drew. Uh, one potential card that could be Drew. Zero potential cards that could be Drew. Oh, well. Well, there you go. So that was three mega boxes. You know, this product... You can never tell how it's going to go until a year or two down the road, whether or not some of these hits are actual good. So, um, you know, I'll reserve judgment. Um, I did enjoy the uh, the Michael Harris rookie. I know Michael Harris has had, again, he's had a very slow year, but I like this pool. Very cool. Not numbered or anything, but it's a beautiful card. Love this, that pool. And the Acuna Jr. But everything else, I don't know. But that's what you can expect in three mega boxes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a good day.